Good morning children today we shall learn about the use of variables in an algebraic equation and also understand what an algebraic equation is Now we know what are variables and how important variables are We use many variables every day For example assume you bought two notebooks and a pencil costing rupees 4 as we don't know the price of notebook let's assume the price is x rupees since the price of one notebook is x we can say the price of two notebooks is equal to 2 times x that is 2x and what is the total amount spent it is equal to 2x which is the cost of notebook plus 4 which is the cost of pencil so the total amount spent can be expressed by an algebraic expression which is 2x plus 4 assume you had spent 30 rupees in buying the things so we can say the value of the expression 2x plus 4 is equal to 30 thus every algebraic expression can be assigned a value as every variable in it has a value here the value of expression 2x plus 4 is equal to 30 now suppose your friend bought one notebook and a pen costing 17 rupees and he also spent rupees 30 in total so we can say the price of notebook which is x plus 17 which is the price of the pen is equal to 30 rupees both of you spend the same amount which is rupees 30 you spent 2x plus 4 and your friend spent x plus 17 so we can say 2x plus 4 and x plus 17 both have equal value which is equal to 30 Thus, the two algebraic expressions, 2x plus 4 and x plus 17, have equal values, which is equal to 30. Hence, we can write 2x plus 4 is equal to x plus 17. You know, 2x plus 4 is equal to x plus 17. is an algebraic equation an equation is a mathematical statement which equates two quantities it shows the equality between two quantities it means the equation tells that the quantities are equal in value for example in this case which is 2x plus 4 equal to x plus 17 we can say 2x plus 4 and x plus 17 have equal values we can also say the terms on the left hand side that is lhs in short is equal to the terms on the right hand side that is rhs in short thus both the sides of the equal sign have same value 2x plus 4 is equal to 30 is another equation it says the value of 2x plus 4 which is on the left hand side of the equal sign is same as 30 which is at the right hand side of the equal sign so remember children in an equation the left hand side 
is equal to the right hand side of the equal sign. If we say Aman's height is equal to Anand's height, that is their heights are equal, then it would be an equation as it shows the equality between the two quantities, that is Aman's height and Anand's height. Correct? Here, x plus 17 is equal to 30 is an algebraic equation which has a variable x. If we solve this equation, we would get the value of x. In fact, we can say the equation is solved when we find out the value of variable which is x here. You know, we can say an equation is like a weighing balance having equal weights on each pan of the balance. So, let us try to understand how it is done using a weighing balance. One pan, say, on the left hand side has the weight representing x and 17. On the other pan, say the right side has weight representing 30. As the weights on both the pans are equal, we can say the weight is balanced. Now, we are measuring the weight of x. That is, we have to find x. How much is it? Here, on one side we have x and 17 and on the other side we have 30. We want to measure x, so we don't need 17. 17 can be taken off, that is it can be subtracted or removed. We have to subtract the same weight from the other pan too, that is the pan on the right hand side, otherwise the weight would be imbalanced. So. Let us remove 17 from the both sides. So, 30 minus 17 is equal to 13. We can say x is equal to 13 as both the sides are balanced. So, we found the value of x which is 13. Now, coming to another algebraic equation which is 2x plus 4 equal to 30. So what about this? Let us put the weight amounting to 2x plus 4 on the left hand side pan and the weight amounting to 30 on the right hand side pan. We don't want 4 so 4 needs to be taken off that is 4 needs to be subtracted or removed. But remember, we have to subtract the same weight from the other pan too. So, on the left hand side pan, 2x are remaining and on the right hand side, it is 30 minus 4 which is equal to 26. Now, the weight of 2x is 26. So, the weight of single x, how do we get it? Simply divided by 2. Here, we also have to divide 26 which is on the other pan by 2 to maintain the balance. Right children? So, remember, weights on both sides need to be divided by 2, not just one side to keep the balance correct. Look here, we get x equal to 13 and the weights are balanced. So this is the correct value, x is equal to 13. Now coming to the last algebraic equation, which is 2x plus 4 is equal to x plus 17. Let's put the weight 2x plus 4 on the left hand side pan and weight equal to 
x plus 17 on the right hand side pan and we need to find the value of x. Both the pans have x. First, let us take off 4 from both the pans. So, on the left hand side pan, we are left with 2x and on the right hand side pan, we have 17 minus 4 which is equal to 13. Now let us take out 1x from both the pans as they have the same values. So remove x from both the sides. Look, what do we get? x is equal to 13. So solving equation is easy and fun too. It is just like balancing the weights on the two pans of a weighing balance either by adding, subtracting, multiplying or dividing equal weights on the both sides of the pans. So they are balanced. That is all for now. Bye bye children.